Uh, this is Eternal Blade, and welcome to part 46 of the Orc Gunwagon tutorial. Alright, the first thing we have to do is move this out, because we need it to be able to turn and actually move so it looks realistic. Because if it was where it was, we'd only have about 4 degrees of movement, which is not a good thing. So move this out a bit, and just make sure you get some good turning radius with it. Okay. And uh, select this polygon here. Actually, we can keep the thickness, I guess. Just move it a bit more in. Okay. Uh, next, go back to our sphere we had going here. And uh, effect pivot only. Uh, and align it to the sphere. Okay? So when we rotate this, it will rotate around the sphere like a joint. So that way we can turn it without actually having to rig pistons or other things. you'd be able to see that. Actually, we're going to scrap that design. Um, select this interior polygon right here, grow, select all of that, and that, and just shrink that way down. Okay? And create a sphere again, right in the middle. Uh, just align it and sink it in there and um, then create a box right in here Actually, I'm gonna do that. just go to polygon here, extrude this down to about there, and then use your bevel tool to just make it uh, an interesting shape. This is going to be like uh, gears and stuff in here. So, bring it down a little bit more. Okay, and next create a cylinder, create it right here, and boom, drag it out, rotate it uh, 90 degrees, okay, effective, or just align it with that, and just bring it out a bit. Okay, now grab this, and you're going to want to connect it twice, okay, select that and that, and then continue beveling these until you reach uh, the bottom. Bevel, make a new shape, go inward, bevel, bevel outward, down, and inward. There. Now we have those things covered. And if you're looking from up here, you won't really be able to see it. We're also going to put some shocks in there, so. Uh, let's see. Just grab all this edge, go in the left hand viewport. Grab all of that. This is much more efficient than selecting each of the edges individually. 
and just give it a small chamfer. Okay. Next, we're going to want to. Let's finish up the wheel, I guess. So. Mm, select the wheel. Select this polygon. And let's get started with this. So. We're going to want to inset it a bit. Actually, cancel that. Get. Oh. Uh, Alright. Inset it a bit. About. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Uh, inset it just about the same as the picture there. And then extrude it backwards just until you can't see the ball. Okay. Uh, next, what you're going to want to do is select all these edges. And chamfer them. Give it a decent chamfer. Okay, and then you're going to want to connect them all and slide it a bit forward. Okay. Now let's be okay. Select that and that bridge. Select that and that bridge. Select that and that bridge. Select that and that and bridge. Okay, that'll give you a nice internal shape there. Then select um, all those edges and deselect everything else. Just ignore back facing and boom. Deselect all that, all that, all that, all that. Okay, we can't do that. Mm, just select all of the lines then. Next, chamfer. Give them all a kind of big chamfer, I guess. Okay. Next, you're going to want to create a cylinder. Okay. Align it. And pull it back out. And uh, the load, increase the height. Push that back just so it disappears. Alright, in your left hand view here, make it about the same size, so about that big. Give it 20 size, I guess. Alright, increase the height a bit. Convert to editable poly, polygons, like that and go to work beveling a nice shape out of it. So we'll give it a little inward bevel, give it a small inset, inward bevel, set it, come out, and another bevel, and inset again, little inset, little bevel, and we'll leave a little section there so we can attach the the uh, cutter, I guess. Okay, select this and polygon. Select all these polygons and bevel by polygon. Actually, no. Uh, well, that'll be it for this part. Uh, I'll see you in part 47.